Hello and welcome once again to Time and Time Again. My name is Alan and um, anyone who's subscribed to my channel uh, and watched a few of my reviews um, will probably know that I have basically disappeared for the last 12 months, something like that. Um, to cut a long story short, I, I just um, was getting a little bit too um, obsessed with trying different watches and so on and just yeah, decided to take a little break away and um, just focus on things like, I don't know, meditation and health and fitness and uh, building a, a daily kind of gym routine and meditation routine and all good stuff. And anyway, to cut a long story short, I'm back, um, back in the game. I'm back uh, really interested in trying some new watches. Um, apologies. Uh, if you have left a comment on any, any of my older videos and I haven't replied, I've literally not even looked at all. So my aim is to, to, to look back at those videos and, and just at least do some replies uh, to those. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on with what you're here for today. This is the uh, Christopher Ward C63 uh, GMT. Now this is in the... Um, the 36 millimeter uh, variant, oh, a little bit too close. Let's just back up a little bit. Yeah, so 36 millimeter case. They do a 39 millimeter case size for this one, uh, but this is um, was only released. I think it was a couple of months ago, something like that. And um, it's a it's a new size for them in this particular watch. Um, now, I literally only got this yesterday and I paid for the bracelet to be resized. Uh, it's only, if you're not familiar, it's it's £10 to, to get them to size the bracelet for you before they ship it out. Um, it is only screws on the links, so easily done yourself with the right little screwdriver. But I thought, why not just get them to do it? Um, but... You, you specify the size of your wrist and last year my wrist was 6.25 inches which is around 16 centimeters so that's what I had it sized for but subsequently got it yesterday went to put it on and realized it was it was too big due to me uh gym regime I think I'm doing a little bit too much cardio and I've actually lost weight off my wrist so now i'm just under six inches um so hopefully that will be helpful once you see it on my wrist um you know my wrist size then and then you can uh, if you've got a similar size wrist then you'll know what it looks like but yeah let's just uh, take a, a closer look at this dial absolutely stunning dial um just just look at that lovely light play on the actual dial itself like this sunburst thing going on um beautiful color which they call dragonfly blue uh, and it just changes in different different lighting um to different shades of, of blue and it's really really nice um you ha obviously have the touch of orange on there as well with the uh, the gmt hand being orange and a little bit of orange text here so yeah, beautiful looking, uh, and let's just zoom in a little bit more. Um, the famous Christopher Ward light catcher case, uh, just lovely shape to it, a uh, nice chamfered edge along the top there with the polishing, um, and just a, a unique to Christopher Ward Um you know, it's their, their case, basically, and they have it on quite a lot of their lineup. They've got it also on the... Let's just back up a bit again. The the one that I'm wearing today, which is the, uh, the C63 Sealander, that is also 36 millimetres. Obviously, it's not a GMT, but um, it's the pretty much the same case, pretty much the same dimensions as well. So they've done well to keep this at only 11.15 millimetres thick uh, and housing that GMT movement, which is the SW uh, 
uh, 330-2, I believe. Just make sure I'm, I'm, I'm getting that name right. Yeah, SW330-2. Um, and it, it's I've only had it for a day, but uh, it's actually running perfectly. It didn't gain or lose a second from yesterday. Obviously, it's early days, so we can't make any long-term predictions for that, but that's a nice little start, I'd say. Um, dimensions, like I say, 36 millimeter case, 43, nice and compact, lug-to-lug. Um, those end links do protrude slightly. I haven't measured it, but that probably takes it to about 46, something like that. So still wears really well on my wrist and actually probably helps it look um, a little bigger than the 36 millimeter would suggest, um, which I'll show you. I'll get it on wrist in a minute. Um, this isn't a, a review as such. It's just a first impressions. Um, haven't had 24 hours with it yet, but uh, just show you just briefly. Um, See-through case back uh, with the Christopher Ward Twin Flag logo repeated, um, as you can see. Nice little pattern on the back there. Um, if you're familiar with Christopher Ward, you'll you'll know about these uh, quick release links as well, which is fantastic. It makes it really, really easy to take this bracelet on, uh, to put it on and take it off. Um, so that's another bonus with the, the Christopher Ward watch. And this is the, um, what's it called? The consort bracelet. Um, you'll see on my... Sealander C63, I've got the the Bader bracelet, or is it Bader? I'm not sure how, how you pronounce it, but it's the Oyster style. Um, so now I've actually got both um, bracelet options, and they are interchangeable because um, they're both pretty much the same case, like I say, and I have tried uh, swapping them over, and fortunately they do, they do work on each other, which is, again, another little bonus. Um, butterfly clasp it's really kind of a high quality look and feel to this branded there as the, at the join uh, but really nice really nice bracelet yeah uh, what else have I forgot uh, I've done the thickness done the lug to lug done the case size um, stamped signed crown uh, date window at 6 o'clock colour matched just a really really nice watch <laughs> so let's uh I'll, I'll get it on the wrist and then you can you can see it oh just a quick whilst that's here as well i've got another similar colour dial anyway uh this is the tudor black bay 36 millimeter i'll be doing a, a review on this one as well um but it's similar similar size and similar colour um, and were pretty similar on the wrist as well, but that one's for a, for another day. Um, so I'll quickly just get this one off and get that one on. And there she is. Beautiful, beautiful little watch. And if I just zoom out so you can get a a different perspective. Like I say, my wrist is just under six inches now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so if you've got a similar size wrist, you can see. It'll give you a, an idea of how it may look on your wrist. A little bit of a concern when you see it 36 millimeter size. Um, because some 36, milli 36 millimeter watches can actually look a lot smaller. Uh, but this doesn't. I feel that this this looks right. Um, even even going a bit higher on the on your wrist size, I think it would be be suitable for a lot of a lot of people. But yeah, that's that's about it for today. Um, like I say, I, I'll I'll I will wear it for the next week or so, and then perhaps do a an updated. Um, kind of mini review on this watch 
and let you know how I'm feeling then. Also, got a few more watches to come, including that Black Bay 36 as well. So hopefully I will uh, get back on the case now and get, get reviewing some watches because I've definitely got the bug again. Um, yeah, okay. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you shortly. Cheers.